Hello and welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. And I'm out of breath from running to my car, trying to get everything ready for this review. Anyways, I don't want to hear any complaints about the audio because I'm in an empty office where obviously there's echoing. Also, don't complain about the lighting because again, I'm in an office. So it's not going to be perfection, but we're rolling with it because that's life. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pose for this thumbnail. Then I'm going to cut the video and then we're going to do a review. So we're going to, we're going to do two different things here. We're going to experiment, right? And then we're going to test it out this way. Now, I did take a picture of the pizza, so we may just, you know, throw a picture in there and you, you can look at the pretty box design too. But there's the pizza. Look at that big boy. Yeah. So big, right? Look at how huge that is. Um, so it looks like they screwed up and started slicing it into, you know, eight slices. And then they realized they screwed up and then they didn't do nothing about it. So Pizza Hut. I'll be contacting you and telling you how bad you did on that cover-up. You should have poured more cheese on there to cover it up. Because you screwed up. Anyways, we're going to go ahead, cut this video, and then we're going to look at one slice and eat it. Right? Right. Good. Great. And I forgot to wear my sports coat. Well, now I'm up in here like review bra, all dressed up. Not usually dressed up like this, but I got a funeral today. So anyways... Uh, New York style pizza. And let me cut the volume down on that phone real quick. New York style pizza. Um, two different styles of pepperoni. You got crispy and you got regular and you got a big old slice of pizza, right? So we're going to chow down on this. Uh, thin but not crispy crust. Very soft, very flimsy. See how flimsy that is? Oh, we're excited, aren't we? Um, they really did cut it wrong, but I found a slice that once they realized they were screwing up, they left alone. So, okay, Pizza Hut, I know you're not pros, but uh, let's see how this pizza tastes, New York style. It reminds me very much of a pizza that you would get at a local joint. Now, I know a lot of people from New York will put this pizza to shame. And they'll say, hey, that's nothing like a New York pizza. And that's fine. But I think this is, you know, to me, more impressive than the Papa John's version. It's a little bit greasier. It's more flimsy. The dough is really soft. I like that, how they, how they perfect that. So it's really, in my opinion, even though I've never been to New York, I really do think it gives off a New York style vibe even though New Yorkers will always claim, there's no way you beat a pizza if it's not in New York. It's got to be in New York, and I understand that. The pepperoni really adds some nice flavor. It's your typical mozzarella mix. Well, I, I think there it looks like there might be cheddar mixed in here too, which would make sense. Um, again, very greasy, very soft flimsy pizza with a nice touch of savory flavor from the two types of pepperoni where you get a nice crispy crunch for one and you get the typical chew of the regular pepperoni. Mm. And I'm loving this. I, I don't care what New Yorkers say, but just the texture and how this is just, it screams delicioso. It screams, I'm a pizza. I'm a pizza pie. It's better than your typical Pizza Hut pizza, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. It goes down so easy, and it really does remind me if I'm going to the local Bella's or the local Sal's, and I'm grabbing me a $5 piece of pizza. Sure, this is not $5, but it really does remind me of a local establishment's pizza. And I'm very, very fond of it. Like, I'm legit about to give this a 10 just for the flavor. I do think I get taste notes of cheddar. I've got plenty of mozzarella. The, the pepperoni from the crispiness to the regular style, the savoriness, 
It's a delicious pizza. It tastes fresh. And I know it's Pizza Hut. Y'all can hate on Pizza Hut all you want, but this delivers and this makes me happy. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Shockingly, I don't usually give a pizza a 10 out of 10. It's been a while. It was probably the Domino's cheeseburger pizza that was the last thing I gave a 10 out of 10. But I am fired up and let me tell you what, this is worth the money. Other than that, I will see y'all around. Yee -yee.